everybody welcome to hiroshima and this is my beautiful airbnb i am blown away guys blown away i mean this is gorgeous it's exactly what i need let me give you the tour i thought my other airbnb was you know okay and that this would be the same let me turn the lights on uh, this way is a great way around because this is kind of like an upgrade anyway let me give you the tour Come in. You got the no shoes sign. As you can see, my shoes are off. They they had little slippers here, but obviously my feet are gigantic, so I I tried to wear them, but they just fell off. You walk in and you got this kitchen. And um, she, I guess, I think she's a she, has left so many things like cooking things, tea, coffee instructions on how to make coffee food wrap i haven't looked in the cupboards yet yeah that mirror just gave me such a fright there's a full-length mirror here that's like yeah okay bathroom like this this bathroom has all in one compared to the other it's also a shower room but luckily she's put this shower curtain so it doesn't go like everywhere so apparently the toilet has been cleaned and again let me just walk in here so many things for me to use so generous and kind uh toothbrushes wipes i was like what the hell is this but it's some kind of dental floss i've never seen it in this format i'll have to try it out they look like little bows <laughs> and even like things it doesn't say do not touch so maybe these hopefully these i can use whitening lotions q-tips and then again in the shower i've got like really cool products to use very happy just have to be careful not to trip on this every time i go in and out okay and then we walk in and we have this sliding door here and welcome to the main room this is like bigger than the other airbnb like all together uh this is also a sofa bed an actual bed and in there we have futon which i'm not going to use because i have this lovely comfy bed um and yeah it's really spacey i mean look compared to the other one i can put my suitcase wide wide open and i still have some walking space compared to the other one where i have to like climb above it those are the, the slippers in question i got the towels hair dryer and it's not as high as the other one, so I don't have a view, but this, this guy's is Hiroshima. Okay, is this open? No, it wasn't open. There we go. Figured it out. Even got the little drying thing. Outdoor shoes. And there we go. We've got the tram tracks. I wonder if that will be noisy, but I can sleep through anything at the moment. I'm travel exhausted. Yeah, loving it. And okay, let me close this up. And you know what the best thing is? It says pocket Wi Fi, but I think it's supposed to stay here. It actually works. I can, I just watched a YouTube video on my phone just to try it out. And yes, I've got the internet on my phone. I'm not gonna get my hopes up. It might stop at any moment. Yeah, this is it, and I am. I'm gonna go find the laundromat because apparently there's one not too far, and trying to figure it out because I've left it really last minute. I'm out of everything. I think I've got one more pair of underwear and no more pair of socks. Used the last one up today, so I'm gonna go check that out. And it's beautiful weather outside, so I'm definitely gonna not gonna stay cooped up in there. Cooped up in here um because i think today is a nice day tomorrow's a nice day and then the rain is back so i really need to think what do i want to visit uh well it's sunny and i'm thinking maybe miyajima tomorrow yeah because i mean okunoshima would be nice also on a sunny day but i feel like miyajima is like a hiking destination and it would be much better in the sun but i'm gonna read all about it today right now i'm gonna go to the laundromat and i don't know how much time that's gonna take but i really want to explore the area and i think this area of hiroshima most of things are accessible by foot like 20 minutes walk 30 minute walks 
as fine by me, especially if it's gorgeous like outside. So let's go, Eskimo, and <laughs> shut up, Iku. And um, should I wash this? Uh, no, let's not wash this. I don't want to change. I'll have en enough clean clothes when I'm done. Okay, let's go figure out the Japanese washing machines. I'm a little scared, not gonna lie. Change of plan, guys. Just came back, found the laundromat. It was super hard to find, by the way. I was like going around and around, and then I was like, you know, I'm gonna test the back street, and it was a back street entrance. I'm a little flushed. Huh, I guess it's really sunny out. So since we do have a little drying thingamabob out there uh, and the friggin' laundromat even... I not sure I understood like the buttons and thing. I think I got it. I think I found like the temperatures and there was like a red one with like a red sign and one with a blue sign and I think it was like hot wash and cold wash. And the cold wash was 700 yen which is like around 7 bucks which is like what the hell expensive? I mean bucks as in euro slash dollar, it's kind of like the same. Um, and the hot one for like a 40 degree Celsius wash it was like 10, 10 bucks. And I was like, you know what? I just, I'm here for a few more days. And this hair is bonkers. I'm only here for a few more days. Um, I need to count like one, two, three, four, like five or six days. So I'm gonna do something I used to do when I was a student is just wash some things in the bathtub real quick, real fast, set them down to dry and uh, once I get home I'll just wash everything properly and with normal products so this might be ooey for some of you but you'll just wait and see it'll just happen to once in a lifetime or maybe multiple times in a lifetime but I mean I'm not spending 10 bucks on a machine that I half understand that could shrink all my clothes and I didn't even have like fabric softener or you know like all those products that i had to buy also and then the dryer i mean oh my god too much way expensive so we're gonna do this real fast and i really want to go explore while it's sunny so let's go do that do that now do it yeah 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 Hello again guys i didn't think i was gonna film anything else today i wanted to take it easy but i'm just taking a stroll through hiroshima and it's just too gorgeous I think it's about to be golden hour, as you can see with this beautiful sunlight and the view is just unbelievable. I need to show you this, you can probably <laughs> already see it, but look at this little circle thing. <laughs> look at this view guys. This is, yes, yes Hiroshima. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous city. I believe that this is the Peace Memorial Park of Hiroshima. And I'm gonna look for the museum because it closes at 6. So, better start with that one if I can find it and if it's open today. Okay. Little view. Woo. Let's find our way. That was absolutely crazy, guys. You know, I'm not a big fan of museums. Um, I usually go through them really fast and then feel like, you know, I paid for something, saw something quick that somebody else did. I know, it's a really strange uh, thing to say as an artist, but I'm usually not very fond of museums. But this one I wanted to see. I think history is, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I thought this part of history was really important. So I just wanted to see the Hiroshima Memorial Peace Museum. I think that's the right order. Peace Memorial Museum, it's one or the other. And it was absolutely mind blowing. Um, not in the sense that, wow, the exposition, the exhibition was amazing. It was really good. But it's more that, um, let me sit here for a minute. Well, actually, maybe I'll keep moving so I don't look weird vlogging in this, in the memorial park at, in the night at dusk. 
um, it was more like in the sense that um, we humans are freaking crazy, are monsters, are how can a group of people have decided, have signed, have you know, made a decision and approved a decision and put a decision into action that yes, we are going to drop a death bomb and kill a hundred thousands of people at once. And then not only that, because they were aiming to do it four times. And I would have thought that, you know, after having launched a th the first one and having, having seen the impact of it, I wouldn't believe that they would actually launch a second one. And I'm a sensitive soul, so um, I was very, I felt very like emotional reading all the testimonies and you know, reading the letters saying like, yes, this is going to happen. And like the letters from the scientific saying, please don't do this. It was really, it was something. So if you're interested in history, uh, go check out the museum. I thought I was gonna stay like maybe 30 minutes in there. Usually museums you just read and pass through, but I stayed there like over an hour. So that's saying something for me. I watched all the testimony videos and um, I read all the history and the letters and I watched the artifacts, but I couldn't stay for like the photos of the victims. I mean, that was just too much for me. I just like walked through real fast. It was just like... Ugh, I'm too sensitive for that kind of thing. I literally felt my stomach go like, brr, like babies. Ugh. Anyway, now I'm walking through the Peace Park and uh, it's nice. It's a little cooler, but yeah, it's really pretty around here. I'm gonna take a few, a few photos and uh, yeah, I'm actually walking too fast. But yeah, let's have a look through. Look at this. Presents something so sad, but it truly is beautiful that they've kept it like this. Just went to the main Hiroshima souvenir store. I didn't buy anything. I'm thinking I'll buy the thing I the things I saw in there. If I haven't found them, I'll swear I'm not gonna jump on it. I know how it goes. I'll see something, I'll be like, oh, I'm never gonna find this anywhere else. And then I find it like way cheaper, a little further away. There's a cat there. Let me show you. Not sure you can see him. Hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. Usually food in there, or is it water? Okay, <laughs> it's really dark. It's crazy how quickly, well, how early it gets dark here. I can't even find a proper lighting. Okay, just wanted to show you the time, but you probably won't see. It's like 6:30 p.m., guys. 
This is how dark it is at 6.30 p.m. right now. Mmm, smells of pines. Anyway, I'm getting really cold now. So I'm going to slowly walk back. I'm feeling really peckish, which is just so annoying because I don't want to spend any more on food. I'm really exploding my budget at the moment. But yeah, I mean, it's one of the one. Of, I don't want to say once in a lifetime trip, but you never know that this could be a once in a lifetime trip. I don't know. Anyway, which way was it to go back? So, might stop at the konbini as always. I'm getting kind of tired of eating uh, onigiri, even though I love them. Wouldn't mind something else for a change. Wouldn't mind a big old bowl of pasta. <laughs> so weird for me to say. Maybe I'll pass in front of the supermarket again and I can make this for me. Mm, I don't know. Is it even worth going back to European food when one in Japan? Anyway, I'm gonna stop boring you with my weird evening thoughts. Oh God, so pretty. Okay, I see the museum, and after that, I'm not that sure of the way, but it wasn't very far away. So, see you later, guys.